Hey guys, here we are at the Church Hospital. This is the East Building. Uh, it once housed the Washington Medical College. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe was brought here in, on October 3rd of 1849, and he died four days later. Um, and yeah, it used to be they treated him here, and unfortunately he did not make it. Here we are at the Westminster Church in Baltimore. Uh, beautiful place. Here are some of the graves here. The interesting thing about this, um, this church is it, it was built over a uh, graveyard. So in the basement, in the catacombs, there are dozens and dozens of graves and um, tombs. So it's a really interesting. Uh, if you ever come to Baltimore and get the catacomb tour, see the catacombs, they're actually quite cool. But the reason that I am here is because this is where Edgar Allan Poe is buried. So we're going to have a quick look at his final resting place. You can actually see there's a tomb underneath the steps there. You see that? That's actually a tomb right there. That's so cool. This is a really cool place. Uh, to come and check out. It's a beautiful place. Um, there's an old sign for it. Westminster Church and Cemetery. Um, I can't really read it, but this uh, thing is right there. A little um, a little bronze bust of his face, which I cannot seem to get a good shot of because <laughs> what a stupid time to come. I should have came during the daytime. But anyway, there you can kind of see it. So Poe used to be, uh, Poe used to be interred Back there and to the left was his original burial site. And then at some point they moved him up to this place of prominence right here. The Poe Toaster used to come every year on his birthday and he would set a, uh, right here he would set uh, some roses and a bottle of cognac. And unfortunately, Time Life magazine I, I believe it was Time Life. They set up in this building, I believe, right over here. Um, they set up a bunch of cameras and they took pictures of the Poe Toaster uh, walking down the street here to, to set the uh, down the cognac and the uh, roses. And um, the Poe Toaster did not like that. Uh, and it finally just spiraled down and he stopped doing the toast every year, which is really kind of a bummer. Cause it was a cool thing. They would have viewing parties. Uh, he would come at night. I, th I think he would come at like 11 o'clock at night or something, but they would have, I think it's either, I th believe it's this building where they'd have the viewing party. Uh, they would all sit in the window and watch the Po Toaster come and put the, uh, put the cognac on the grave. This will not focus. All right, there we go. Here I am at the uh, Edgar Allan Poe house. It's the house right here in front of us in Baltimore. Uh, Poe lived here.
from 1833 until 1835. The little room up here at the top was his writing room. It's a little turret room up there. He would sit in the window and look out over in this direction. And at the time, this all over here was a giant pig farm, uh, which is why they call the neighborhood around here Pigtown. The house was uh, built in 1830. Let's go over since I can Let's go over here since the it's just blurry as can be. Here we go. Brought my own light. Anyway, up there at the top, that is the little turret room where Poe would sit in that window at a little writing desk and he would write his uh, stories. If we go over here, you can see a little bit more history on the house. Uh, So yeah, this is the house. Um, it was saved from being torn down uh, in the 1940s, I believe, or 19, actually 1930s, uh, is when they went to build these places, which are the, the Po homes, is what they call them. And if we look, here's the marker historical marker for the Edgar Allan Poe house and it was des designated a historic landmark back in 1972 but if you ever get a chance to come to Baltimore you should really come and check this place out it's a cool place. There's been a lot of uh, really cool people who visited here. Um, uh, Stephen King came here. Vincent Price came here. And it's a really uh, creepy place um, inside. It's, it's allegedly haunted by Poe's aunt. But yeah, cool place.